Welcome back to the SciLife Academy. It's time for another training session. In this lesson, you will learn how to prepare and distribute an audit report, how to complete the audit, and how to conduct an audit follow-up. Check out the next slide for an overview of the audit process and where we will focus our attention. Let's get started. After an audit is conducted, the team prepares a final report, which summarizes the audit findings according to the objectives. This is the key deliverable of the audit. Generally speaking, the audit report includes the audit objectives, audit scope, audit client identification, audit team members and auditees participants, audit dates, schedule and location. Aside from that, there's other key info like audit criteria, audit findings, and audit conclusions. Audit observations may include situations where the audit evidence collected was insufficient to support a finding of non-conformance. In such cases, the auditor should seek additional evidence before drawing conclusions. Note that auditors should not provide specific solutions or instructions on how to improve the system. The auditor's role is to evaluate the effectiveness of the quality management system not to develop or implement it. A good suggestion is also to include any unresolved issues or differences of opinion between the audit team and the auditee. To conclude, the audit report must state the degree of compliance against the audit criteria. The audit team is responsible for distributing the report in a secure, confidential manner to the auditee and other stakeholders within the agreed and negotiated timeframe. Now it's time to complete the audit. In general, an audit is considered complete once all planned audit activities have been completed and agreed upon by the audit team and auditee. The documentation and evidence gathered during the audit execution must be kept in a file according to the agreement between the participants. It is also important to know that all proprietary information, confidential, sensitive and classified information should not be disclosed to other parties without the approval of the auditee. The ISO 19011-2018 standard also states that auditing offers opportunities for improvement. Therefore, it is a good opportunity to capture lessons learned and discuss them with the audit team. Audit findings are discussed during the closing meeting, as mentioned previously. As a result, the auditee may be required to take corrective actions or to improve. Auditees normally decide on these actions within a time frame agreed upon with the audit team. The effectiveness of these actions should then be evaluated either through a new audit or through simple verification of evidence. That's all. Thank you for attending this course. I hope you found it useful and that it has met your learning expectations. See you in other courses at the Academy as you continue your educational journey with SideLife.